Welcome to Ask Angelica. I'm Angelica with BRK, your trusted, reliable partner for fire safety products since 1958. Now, imagine a situation where you have an older apartment building that you need to retrofit. The building inspector says that you need to have all alarms interconnected. How can you do this without the hassle of hardwiring? Relax, BRK has got you covered with a wireless interconnect system that's fast and easy to install. Wireless interconnect technology involves reliable and secure radio frequency communication between alarms. These alarms operate on a mesh network, a two-way communication format that sends, receives, and then resends the alarm signals. This technology makes it perfect for remodel and retrofit applications. They help meet codes that require alarms to be interconnected without having to pull new wires through existing walls. With these alarms, when one sounds, they all do, wirelessly. Let's go over the products in this Wireless Interconnect series. There is a family of four alarms in our Wireless Interconnect series. There's a smoke only, a CO only, a combination smoke and CO unit, and a hardwired bridge unit that detects smoke only. To see how to use the bridge unit for hardwired applications, check out our other episode on Wireless Interconnect alarms. Depending on how large the apartment is and what your local code mandates, this will help you determine which alarm is best to select for each location. The process to pair each alarm wirelessly is identical, so they can be mixed and matched easily. In this video, we'll pair three battery-operated wireless interconnect alarms. In each alarm's box, you will find the unit, two AA batteries, mounting hardware, a dust cover, a user's manual, and a quick start guide. Before we start, I suggest taking a pen and writing the installation and replacement date on the back of the new alarm. Remember, batteries should be replaced twice a year and alarms should be replaced every 10. Here's a BRK tip. It's easier to pair alarms on a flat surface before mounting them to the ceiling. To start, we'll want to activate alarm number one, the battery only smoke and carbon monoxide combination unit. To do so, you insert the batteries into the battery drawer, then close the drawer. You should hear a chirp from the alarm. This means that the alarm is activated. The alarm will say, no location program. To select location, press and hold test button now. Press the test button and the alarm will speak a list of locations. When you hear the location that you want, press the test button to select that location. Then you'll hear the alarm speak that the location has been saved. Check out the helpful hint on the screen if you accidentally missed the location programming. Welcome. First alert, carbon monoxide and smoke alarm. No location programmed. To select location, press and hold test button now. To save location, press and hold test button after location is heard. Basement, child's bedroom, dining room, family room, guest bedroom, hallway. Now I'll move on to alarm number two, the battery only smoke alarm. Just like before, insert the batteries into the drawer, but do not shut it yet. First, press and hold the test button, then shut the drawer. Continue holding the test button until you hear the alarm chirp once. The green LED indicator light will flash, indicating that it's ready to be paired to alarm number one. Press and hold the test button on alarm number one until alarm number two chirps and the green LED indicator light stops flashing. Then release the test button on alarm number one. The welcome process will immediately begin. Alarm number two will want you to program its location. Follow the steps to correctly program the location of your choice. Finally, I'll move on to alarm number three, a battery only smoke unit. Insert the batteries into the drawer, but again, don't shut it. Press and hold the test button, then shut the drawer. Continue holding the test button until you hear the alarm chirp once. 
The green LED indicator light will flash, indicating that it's ready to be paired with alarm number one and two. Press and hold the test button on either alarm number one or two until alarm number three chirps and the green LED indicator light stops flashing. Then release the test button. You'll have to program the location of alarm number three immediately. It's important to test each alarm before installation to make sure that the pairing process was done properly. I'll run you through the testing process of one alarm. This process will be the same for all alarms in the series. To ensure that all alarms are working properly at each location, press and hold the test button validating that each alarm is communicating. You have now successfully created a battery-operated wireless interconnect system. If you need to pair additional alarms later, refer to the Quick Start Guide for a step-by-step -step process. Be sure to check out other Ask Angelica episodes for more fire safety tips. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel.